Additionally, I can give you a little spoiler. What is up guys? Absolutely beautiful day here in Beijing. Got a Gen 1 swap station over here, Gen 2 swap station over there. There's my car right there. Very, very cool. So we actually got some leaked information about uh, some upcoming stuff. Very, very interesting. So apparently this is leaked by Dr. Shen Fei. I have a little clip AI translated. You can watch that later. By the way, go check that out. That's pretty cool. We got like a Dune partnership over there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it. There you see, Dune partnership. There's a EC6 swapping. Same as my car. There's my car. My son's sleeping in the car. So apparently, according to Dr. Shen Fei, Gen 4 swap stations will be able to automatically direct the car into the swap station. That means, at a Gen 4 swap station, you can park your car and do whatever the hell you want and the swap station will automatically send your car into the swap station and then after the swap, it will send the car out and direct the car to a parking spot and everything is automated. So lining up for a battery swap is like way, way, way better than lining up for a charger. So with most chargers, you have to actually get out and see what the percentage is for the, uh, for the charge. So, you know, maybe some cars, they just started charging, but you don't know, you gotta go see the screen, what percentage they're at. Now, Neo's chargers, they actually have a little indicator bar on the side that tells you what percentage it's at, which is very, very cool. And if it's fully charged, the car's fully charged, it's gonna be green. So you know, hey, I should line up behind that car. But for most chargers, you actually have to get out of the car and go see what percentage charge each charger is at for the, those vehicles. And you have to line up. And lining up is just a pain in the butt. And it's constantly, it's very, very stressful to line up for a charger, especially during my long road trip. And uh, you see people lining up, it's very stressful because uh, if you go to the bathroom, you might lose your spot. There's people cutting in line. There's no order when it comes to lining up for a charger. Whereas for battery swap, it's all entirely automated, very cool. You have your spot in line and you can see how long it takes before it's your turn. So with this improvement, it's just way, way, way better than charging. I mean like at a highway resting area, just park the car and it's gonna use a combination of the car's own autonomous driving system and also the, the swap stations uh, LiDAR system and or an X trips the computing power to direct the car into the swap station and after that help you find a charging uh, a parking spot which is absolutely mind-blowing now we have already seen clips of Neo uh, doing a autonomous swap with nobody in the car so it's already possible with gen 2 vehicles and above but what that allows you what fourth gen swap station allows you to do is all vehicles all right, not just Neo vehicles, not just NT 2.0 vehicles, also my like first gen Neo and also other partner vehicles, right? Uh, they can also be directed and commanded to go into the swap station, finish the swap, and then sent to where that swap station deems a open parking spot. So this is quite mind blowing. It's gonna be fully autonomous, not just for Neo vehicles, but for all vehicles at fourth gen swap stations. So they're really improving everything quite a lot. So obviously I'm here lined up for a swap. That blue EC6 was uh, before us, and then this guy is also be before me as well. So I'm third in line, but I don't need to uh, you know, fight for the lineup or be stressed about losing my spot in line. So this is just very, very convenient. So when it comes to convenience in the future, swap stations are gonna be much more convenient than even gas stations. You, you can basically park your car anywhere near the swap station and then just get out, do whatever you want, go eat lunch or, or uh, go eat dinner and it's gonna swap by itself and then park the car nearby. I mean, like how crazy is that? Like that is the ultimate level of convenience. And of course, this really helps with robo-taxi as well because uh, with robo-taxis, you know, ideally you don't want somebody to be, uh, you know, you don't wanna involve any humans with manual labor, right? We talk about uh, Tesla robo-taxis, but Tesla robo-taxis, you still gotta get someone to plug the charger in, right? So, 
you know, it's never truly autonomous, but here you, you have it truly autonomous. You can basically automatically swap by itself with no human intervention and then also drive by itself, no human intervention. So this is absolutely crazy. The craziest thing is of course that this is available for all cars. All cars that will be able to do battery swap, uh, the fourth gen swap station will basically direct the car into the swap station. Very, very nice feature, man. Now, of course, guys, the biggest problem is still marketing. Yeah, news not marketing these, uh, the way we all like them to market swap stations. They're still marketing the car instead of the swap, the convenience of the swap. I mean, it, it is kind of uh, frustrating, I know. It's also frustrating for me and other new owners as well. Such a good thing. And uh, even other auto brands, auto CEOs, they, uh, people in, that are familiar with the automobile market, they know about the benefits of swap and how good it is. But normal consumers, they don't. So it's still going to take a little bit of time before it becomes common knowledge. I mean, having these swap stations right here is actually quite nice because this is a exit for the parking spot. So there you got the toll booth right there. So everybody that comes out of, uh, you know, Solana over there, which I'll go uh, film another video later uh, showcasing the store, how busy it is, talk to some sales reps. But uh, everybody that comes out here can see the battery swap, which is very cool. So it does have that purpose of marketing. So Neo's plan also for this year, a lot of the swap stations are going to be placed down for marketing purposes. So prime locations to get a lot of eyes looking at those swap stations and also uh, public swap stations built by partner brands. So Neo's going to save some capex actually. So that's all pretty good stuff happening this year. But Gen 4 swap stations, again, mind-blowing stuff. Like, we were all wondering, why do you even need, like, a LiDAR system on the swap station and all the Orient X chip? All right, it's my turn to swap. I got to hop in the car. Additionally, I can give you a little spoiler. Actually, we're developing another feature. I'm really excited for this feature. When you get to the high-speed service area, if there happens to be a user changing the battery in front of you, you can park your car next to the battery swap station and find a spot. Then you can go into the service area yourself. Perhaps you want to go into rest or relax or buy something. Anything's possible. Then, when you come back, the car will have moved into the battery swap station. After the battery swap, it'll be parked at a different spot. Everyone's looking forward to this. We'll definitely launch this feature this year. When it comes to Onvo swap stations, you really don't need to worry about conflict with NIO or fighting for swaps. In fact, we should clearly understand a logic. That is, the more Onvo cars, the more Onvo swap stations, it will get more and more convenient. So, we really should not worry saying that if we share the swap stations with Onvo, it will be inconvenient. We really must not worry about this at all. The more Onvo cars, we will see more swap stations. 